We'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure. getting ready to dine at Tony's Town Square right inside the Magic Kingdom. And we're gonna show you the menu and the food as it comes out. We will let you know how everything is. I also wanted to share with you guys a special addition to the Tony's menu. So today we found out, we've come here, we've come here many, many times, this is the first we've seen this, they actually have an allergy-free menu for gluten, wheat, egg, fish, shellfish, milk, peanut, tree nuts, and soy allergies. So they also known as the top eight. Top eight. And they have really a full selection. They have uh, three appetizers, five entrees, and three desserts. So you really don't feel like you're getting um, less than you should, you know, for restaurant dining. Yeah, it's a great variety. And, you know, that way you don't have to be uh, so nervous about your allergies, cross-contamination, whatnot. I'm sure they have a separate area where they prepare these foods. With our dining plan, you receive an alcoholic beverage with every meal. They have a very good Moscato here. Cheers. 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 Delicious. Magnifico. I'm gonna just go ahead and give you a quick overview also of the regular menu. So this is the Tony's Town Square restaurant menu. And it says it's the very place for a special occasion. But, you know, the reality is when you're at Disney, every minute is a special occasion. Just in case you didn't know, they do have a new feature film that they're working on, live action. And I actually heard that the tramp is gonna be played by a dog that was rescued from an animal shelter, so that's pretty great. Good job, Disney. Here are the appetizers. Quite a variety. We generally get the caprese, it's very, very good here. And we're also gonna be trying the house salad as well because we do have the deluxe dining plan, which means that you get an, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert per person. Here are the main courses. And actually, Lisa ordered off of the allergy-friendly menu. She's getting the spaghetti and meatballs. The meatballs are actually made of turkey, which sounds pretty delicious. I'm gonna try that. And I went with the newer Roman-style steak. I eat quite a bit of steak when I'm at Disney because it's such a good quality. So that was the menu, and we'll show you guys as the food comes out and let you know how it is. Well, surprise, surprise. This appears to be a gluten-free bread, because normally they bring out, I guess that's a garlic bread. And a butter, melted butter, I guess. I don't know if that's oil or butter. Oil probably. I'd rather have the butter, but anyway. Let's see. I think it's nice and warm. Try it. Take it off. I think that's really mm -hmm. good. Is it good? It tastes like a gluten free bread. <laughs> kind of black. Okay. Okay, yeah, gluten, that's an option. Yeah. Okay, so here is the, I guess it's called the garden salad. House salad? Garden house salad. I have the dressing on the side. This is our house dressing. Looks really good. So this is an awesome adventure in food. <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge salad. Corn. Looks like it's bacon. They're little pink onions. Um, cheese, I'm not sure. Feta, maybe? And then, um, I'm not sure. Is this a beet, maybe? Or? Mm, watermelon. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. Here we have the caprese which is buffalo mozzarella cheese, tomatoes, some microgreens, and balsamic vinaigrette. This is the allergy-free spaghetti, which consists of a rice pasta, and turkey meatballs, and a marinara sauce. Okay, Jen has the Roman-style steak. Broccoli, or broccolini? Broccolini. Broccolini. Mashed potatoes, what are these? Onion crisps. Oh, onion crisps. And some and peppers. This is a rice pasta. 
turkey meatballs. So I asked the waiter regarding the meatball. Did you actually make a beef? He said, if you let them know ahead on the reservation, you type it in. They will actually make you uh, allergy-free allergy meatballs, or you can have a steak dish, and they can do the pasta and the ravioles, but you just let them know ahead of time. So I think that's very, very nice. How's the flavor? Um, I would say it's a little more bland than a uh, beef meatball, but it's very good. And the sauce is um, not good. like it's like less salty. That's good. But it's healthy. I don't like a lot of salt myself. So. Awesome. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to share my thoughts with you about the steak. Overall, I thought it was very good, um, very flavorful, very much like a fillet. The only concern I had was it was a bit salty and a little bit tough. I think it was just slightly overcooked. But if you like steak, I would highly recommend it. Maybe get it uh, one temperature below what you normally order, just to be on the safe side because they can always put it back on. But they can't, you know, undercook it for you like after it's done. So I, that's what I would suggest. It's very good though, and I'm glad I tried it. Very satisfying. So next we're gonna have dessert brought out, and I had ordered the hazelnut cake, and Lise got the chocolate gelato. So we're gonna show you as it comes out. So this is the hazelnut dessert. It doesn't look too appetizing, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it and see what it tastes like, because sometimes looks can be deceiving. So there's a good overview for you. Here's Lisa's dessert. She got vanilla gelato with some chocolate syrup. Looks really good. How do you like it? Mm. Mm. Very light. Okay, so like I said, looks can be deceiving. The dessert um, that I got, the hazelnut cake, was really, really good. Um, no complaints at all. It was excellent. So if you like hazelnut, it tastes a lot like a Ferrero Rocher. Um, of course, it has a different texture. It does have some little crunchies that were sprinkled throughout, and those were delicious. I don't know if that was like a hazelnut type candy or something like that, but it was excellent. So highly recommended for that. Overall, it was a really good meal. Yeah. What do you think? Thanks so, out. We did the allergy free thing, which was new. Yeah. So if you have allergies, don't be afraid to eat at Disney World because they are very accommodating. Just be sure to ask to either speak to a chef and take a look at the allergy friendly menu. Matter of fact, even if you do have an allergy friendly menu, I would still recommend speaking to a chef if it's your first time dining at Walt Disney World if you do have a food allergy or sensitivity. All right guys, well we hope you enjoyed your lunch with us here at Tony's Town Square and we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure.